Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Make tutorials. Um, we're going to keep going on production and in specifics, uh, capacity planning. So we have actually created a work center. We created machine centers underneath the work center. And now I'm going to just dive into a little bit how, you know, the details of that. So if I go into work center, uh, this is the work center that we have created, the grinding coffee area. If I go into that, I actually did change uh, one thing here. Uh, if I go into scheduling capacity, capacity is two. I changed this to do manually. It doesn't do it automatically because that's what it makes sense to me. Um, if I put two here, what I mean is that I have two machine centers underneath. Each one of them has capacity one. So the aggregate is two. So if I go into, for example, load, this is showing me the capacity in minutes. So I have 1080 minutes a day available to me. And the allocated quantity is 100. So there's one production order for 100 here. Now, if I go into a particular machine center, um, so let's look at that uh, right here, like grinder one, um, I have actually assigned one of the production orders there. And so if I look at the load for grinder one, I can find this hundred there. So that's the same hundred as is in the work center. So uh, work center is reflecting the aggregate and the uh, machine center is reflecting the individual. So it's like a level down. Um, <clears throat> so I'm actually gonna just run a production order that's really big. Uh, just create a new one. So just go and release production order. Just see there's an action. So I create new one here uh, for uh, ground coffee. So I'll just pick that item right here. And we're going to do, well, let's do 50,000 pounds. All right. It's crazy. And the due date, let's put that on uh, five, let's see. Yeah, five one. So we're actually eight, uh, 18. Okay, so we just go ahead and refresh this and we schedule back. So it's now going to calculate the routing. Okay, this is maybe a little bit too much. All right, let's take this down to 20,000. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is kind of finish the capacity or at least get a lot of capacity used, right? So here I have it calculated it to, in order to be finished on 4.30 here, uh, we need to start in March. So in, in order to be done by 1st of May, we need to start the 8th of March. So this is a serious grinding effort, right? Okay, great. Uh, so if I go now into my work center, and take a look at the load, of that um, is uh, right here. I can see that uh, I've allocated 540. Exactly. Well, here 640 is actually because there's two, but it takes up just one of the capacities. Now, if I had another production order at the same time, it probably could double up, and we can take a look at that maybe in a, a different video but it's, it's filling up all the days. So I have availability because I have another grinder, right? Uh, but my, one of my grinders is gonna be like completely taken up. Um, so now I'm gonna allocate this down to that grinder. So I have to do that actually manually so, because the idea is that on the floor, someone is manually pushing that out. And uh, we must get a little bit that might be able to do this automatically, but I think for now, uh, manually is the way. So if I go into the task list here, I can see that this 
enormous um, production order is set up for the work center. Um, and so what I'm going to do right now is just go and move that to grinder 2 right here. Okay, now it's gone. So if I go into, let me see, uh, it's just curious here on seeing work centers. Okay, perfect. Um, machine center. Take a look at grinder two. Um, so here into the task list, the task is here for that production order. And if I take a look at the load, uh, we can see that this one has been completely mapped out uh, until the first. So you see the first now is availability, but it goes all the way back here. Um, actually, we have to start at the end of 3.8 here, <laughs> start using 30 minutes there, and then it starts full force. So this one is mapped out. There is no more, more availability here. Now, if I go into the other one uh, and look at the load, uh, the load is here. We only have a, a hundred allocated, the rest it's free. So this is how we can manage loads in um, uh, Business Central. And this is capacity planning. Obviously, we can take this to an even higher level, but this is kind of the basic levels of capacity planning. Again, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, I think this is really cool. Uh, it's a cool area in NAV, and it's not always used. I think production often goes into just doing material requirement planning and not that much uh, capacity planning because it just takes another level. Um, but I hope we can use it. And uh, until next time, thank you.